Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today we're doing Puerto Nuevo Baja style fried lobster. Let's get going. All right, and these guys are the real stars of today's show. These are live spiny lobsters, local, right off the shore here of San Diego. And I bought them at my local fish market, which is Catalina Offshore Products. And I just found out from talking to them this morning that they actually ship live lobster worldwide. They're shipping these guys as far away as China. So I'm going to be putting a link to their store down below, along with a link to their YouTube channel, which is very entertaining, I might add. The owner of the place has got a great personality. Now, if you look behind me, you'll notice a large 22 quart stock pot. I have that about half filled with water and one 12 ounce bottle of my favorite Mexican beer, which is Negra Modelo. It's a nice dark beer, but it's very, very smooth. And I also have one quarter cup of menudo seasoning, which is basically a blend of Mexican oregano, some red chili flake, some dried garlic, and a little salt. And they're only gonna be in the water for three minutes, but it's gonna definitely pump a little bit of flavor in there. After that, we're gonna to go to the next step, which is gonna be cutting them in half. We're gonna get them in some pork lard. So let's get them in their bath. All right, once I get the lobsters removed from the ice bath, I'm going to cut them in half, clean out that intestinal tract, that green tamale, then we'll move on to the final step before we actually get them cooking in that pork fat. All right, lobster is removed from the water, split, cleaned. Now I'm going to season them. There are some restaurants down in Rosarito, Mexico that do not season the lobster. I like it seasoned, and I like to add a, it's a basically a blend of one cup all-purpose flour and about a tablespoon and a half of adobo seasoning. This is gonna add a nice flavor, but I'm adding it, it's just very light coating and it's gonna add a nice little crunch, just a little crispy crust that kind of makes it a little special. I'm just going to apply this, again, just very lightly. It's not like we're making fried chicken or anything. All right, the big old wok is outside on top of the Weber filled with pork lard. It's boiling and ready to go. Meet you out in the backyard. Got my 22 inch wok on top of the Weber. Copious amounts of pork lard in there right now. Probably about 350, maybe a little over. We're ready to cook these lobsters, guys. And I'm going to let these go probably about eight minutes total. I want to get a nice golden brown, make sure both sides get cooked. All right, and this is what we're looking for. It's that nice, gorgeous, gorgeous golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and lay these down on paper towels so that the meat is facing down so we can drain these shells of any of the leftover oil here. We'll get them plated up really soon. And here we have it all plated up. We've got some nice Mexican rice, some refried beans with a little cotija cheese on there, some wedges of lime. Now, we're gonna eat this the way I like to eat it, and I guess it's fairly traditional down in Baja. Lay out a flour tortilla, not corn on this. Take out some of that delicious meat. I'm just gonna lay this to the side right now, chop it into some little pieces. All right, let's get some of those refried beans down. We'll lay that fresh lobster meat right on top of those beans. Some fresh guacamole. Some even fresh herb, pico de gallo, some nice cilantro, some garlic in here. Ah. 
This is a slice of heaven, guys. Mm. Almost forgot the lime. With me, it's much more than just really good food. It brings back such good memories. I'm going down to Rosarito and kind of watching the gray whale swim by as we eat lobster and drink some cerveza. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, let me know. And also, I'd appreciate it if you'd check out the Catalina Offshore Products Killer Place. And knowing that they can ship these gorgeous lobsters anywhere in the world is pretty bitchin'. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. See you on the next video. Cheers.